30 to 36, 40. What I did is, I am teaching a concept with a problem and I am giving you some examples also. 30 to 36 and 40. Your conscious should tell you, Anil sir said that 36 it is divisible by 9. Answer digital sum should be 9. Not possible, not possible, not possible. 1440 and 1152. Now where am I struck? I am struck in 32, 36 and 40. 32, 36. 36 I am. It is divisible by 3. Check it out if the answer is divisible by 3. Divisible by 3. Both the options I wantedly kept. Divisible by 3, divisible by 3. Now comes the another concept. That is how mathematics has evolved. LCM of 32, 36 and 40. If I take this number, it is divisible by 3. But if I take the next number, 40 it is divisible by 5. 40 it is divisible by 5. Answer should be divisible by 5. What is the nature of a number divisible by 5? Unit digit should be 0 or 5 is unit digit it is one one five two it is one one five two take any number lcm of three comma five it is fifteen these is divisible by five lcm of ten comma twelve ten comma twelve this is sixty one number is divisible by five answer is divisible by five if you are stuck with one number go to the next number Anyway, LCM contains a combination of the numbers. I hope the idea it is clear. I hope the idea it is clear. Now, next one. Why we are discussing LCM and HCF related problems? It has been observed in the last year that fractions and decimals, LCM and HCF, and there were good arithmetic related questions, algebra related questions. I might not complete, the, I am sure you might have gone through a comprehensive college training program where every shortcut has been discussed. If it is not discussed, this is like a last minute net enhancing score approaches hcf of 6 12 and 18 listen carefully sir some fantastic approaches which we will discuss i will write lcm here i will write hcf here this is a single slide will help you to understand how to find lcm and hcf listen carefully sir lcm of 4, 8, 16. LCM of 4, 8, 16. HCF of 4, 8, 16. Another example. LCM of 20, 30. HCF of 20, 30. 20, 30. LCM of 8 and 9. HCF of 8 and 9. LCM of 12 comma 15. 12 comma 15 or I will take 15 comma 25. 15 comma 25 hcf of 15 comma 25 very important slide sir very important slide you will understand the you will understand the importance right difference between lcm and hcf you will find the difference between lcm and hcf Four problems on LCM, four problems on HCF. Same numerical values. LCM. M stands for multiple here. Multiple means largest number. Multiple means largest number. F stands for factor. F stands for factor. That means smallest number. That means smallest number. That means LCM, we have to keep an eye on the largest value. 
in HCF, we have to keep an eye on the smallest value. What is the multiple of 12, 24, 36, 48 and so on. So, take the largest number. Largest number is 16. Check whether 16 is divided by every other number. 16 is 4 into 4. 16 is 8 into 2. Answer is 16. Answer is 16. If the largest number is divisible by every other number, then the largest number is the LCM. If the largest number is divisible or largest number is a multiple of every other number, the largest number gets divided by every other number, then it is LCM. HCF, smallest one. So take the smallest one. If the smallest number divides every other number, please remember it is the divides. A factor divides. It is divided by. That is the reason you will find a lot of questions where with this wording divided by. LCM, multiple means largest number. Largest number should be divisible by every other number. HCF is smallest. Smallest should divide every other number. 8 will get, 4 will divide 8, 4 will divide 16. This is 4. I hope the idea it is clear. This is 4. Difference between LCM and HCF. If the largest number is not divisible by other number. Take the multiple of that number. 60. 60 is divisible by 20. Write down 60. Largest number. Write. Largest number. Write. Largest number should be divisible by every other number. If the largest number is not divisible by every other number. Write. Take the multiple because it is LCM. 30 is not divisible by 20. 32 is 60. 60 is a multiple of 20. Write down 60. HCF of 20 and 30. Smallest number. Does 20 divide 30? No. Take the factors of 20. Here we are going to the multiples of the largest. Here we will go to the factors. 20 factor is 10. Does 30 gets, a div 10 divides 30, yes. I hope you are understanding. In HCF, I will go to the factors of the smallest. In LCM, I will go to the multiple of the largest. In LCM, I will, if the largest number is not divisible by every other number, go to the multiple of the largest. Here, go to the factors of the largest. 8 and 9, they are consecutive numbers. LCM of consecutive numbers is their product. Please write down, sir. LCM of consecutive numbers, it is the product. HCF of consecutive numbers, it is 1. All these points should be there in your notebook. LCM of consecutive numbers, LCM of consecutive numbers, it is the product. LCM of consecutive numbers, it is the product. HCF of consecutive numbers, it is always 1. Consecutive numbers, it is always 1. LCM of consecutive numbers, it is the product. HCF of consecutive numbers, it is 1. I hope you are understanding. LCM means multiple related. HCF means factor related. Factors of 6 will be less than 6. Go to the lowest of the lowest number. Smallest number and its factors. Largest number and its multiples. I hope it is clear. These three. Kindly ask me in case if you got any doubt.